What's the tea, everybody? It's me, Silky G, and I am here to elevate your flag. So today I'm gonna be doing my cat fantasy look. It's a look that I love so much. This look I've taken on the road, it's been on tour with me, and I'm just gonna show you what I do. And I do it oh so well. So first, I'm gonna prep the face. You can't prep the face with your glasses on, so I'm taking them off, honey. And right before it dry, I put on my color corrector. I put it on the major blemishes I have on my face. I have one under my cheek, one on the top of my right eye, and then I cover the dude, the goatee lad, honey. Honey, let me tell you something. So being a traveling queen, I've learned to do my makeup really fast. Um, but I know how to do my makeup very fast for a very long time because I am someone that don't have contact and I don't qualify for LASIK eye surgery. And so I literally do the same mug every time, just different colors and I have learned to do it. I usually do my makeup for 25 minutes. I could spend an hour on my makeup, I could spend three hours on my makeup, I could spend 25 minutes on the makeup, but guess what? The check ain't gonna change. So honey, I do it, get it done. So I go ahead and put on the foundations. Get good under those eyes. Around the mouth real well. A little bit on the nose. Look crazy, right? So I use a stick foundation because I need the extra coverage. For me, I sweat a lot. And when, I, when I've when i used liquid foundation, I, it tends to melt off a lot faster. And I have really dry skin, so I use like a really greasy thick foundation just so it can stick onto my face very well. Once you do that, let's blend it all in, baby. Now we set it all with powder. And I'm gonna use white powder for the tiger look just to pop it just a little bit more, honey. But that's only on the highlight pieces, honey. We don't want a white face, honey. I ain't trying to look like Casper. So putting this white on my face reminds me a lot about like Drag Race. And some inside tea, you get an hour and 45 minutes to get ready for the runway. So that's full drag, makeup, body, costume, hair, everything. Well, it was what, episode two, when I had all the white on my face, little inside tea, I painted my mug three times that day. I painted it the white, and I took it off, cause it just got, it made me too nervous, cause it wasn't how I prepared before I got on the show. And then I painted it again, something kind of similar to this, Still wasn't working for my taste. Didn't like it, took it off, and repainted it again, and that's what we, the finishing look. Long story short, honey, I paint really fast. Ain't got time to be wasting time, honey. Get it done, and get it going. Finish covering the rest of the foundation with my regular dark powder. And now I'm gonna do my contour using this box of donuts by Fat Me Cosmetics, honey. So excited. It has so many beautiful colors in it. So, just give you a little, a sneak peek, honey. But you can't get all this at one time. Gotta give you two years, little bit by little bit. Look at those colors. Like, aren't they to die for? So I'm gonna use the browns, the blacks, and I'm gonna contour this, contour this mud, honey. Now that I've contoured the way that I like, I'm just gonna highlight under my cheek just to make that contour pop just that much more. Now, I personally 
cut my cheek whether I'm doing a character or not because it's important to cut your cheek because you want to make sure that your cheeks pop. At times when you don't cut your cheek, it seems like your cheek is falling down. But we look for high cheeks, honey. We don't look for low cheeks. Um, and we, it's important too if you want to widen your face. So you don't have to go as high if you like, but you know, a long way if you want to widen your face. So it's just important to, to, to divine the look. So define your look at your cheek. For y'all that know me and faithful to the show, you know that I use a Sharpie to do my eyebrows. But now I don't use Sharpies anymore. I use Silky's Brow Magic. So very, very important. Um, you use it right. It'll be real tight, honey. I'm just letting you know. I use a Sharpie because I sweat a lot in shows. And the, the whole purpose of, you know, the Sharpie, it stays on all night. A lot of girls that sweat a lot and don't use Sharpie um, have to redraw on their eyebrows constantly all night. Um, but in my case, I don't because of the Sharpie. And um, it's a really an old school drag trick. If you're up to drag history, you will understand that men were not just going to the stores 20, 30, 40 years ago, going to the makeup counter saying, I need this. So they was using household products to do the makeup that they needed. And so this has been a trick passed down from generation to generation. And my gay um, drag grandmother taught me this trick. I drew my eyebrows on really thick because I wanted it to co complete the look, what I was going for. And now I'm gonna take a brush and dip it into that dark brown and just basically shade in just to make sure that it looks even. Okay, so now I'm gonna just clean up my brow and I do that with highlighter. This lovely highlighter is called Exist from Batman Cosmetics. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna just go right under that brow bone. It reminds me of like 50s Trophy Wife, to be honest. It goes on real nice. After being on Drag Race, I didn't really have time to adjust back to normal life because I went on tour and I love the tour and get to see the girls outside of the competition setting. And that was a lot of fun. Let me tell you, Soju is a party and I live for her. <laughs> so now I'm gonna, going to go back to that um, box of donuts palette by Batman Cosmetics and I'm gonna start my crease. The costume that I'm wearing has many shades of green. It's a cat suit. And so I, I want to incorporate a little bit of that color into what I'm wearing, honey. This makeup, get into it. A silky must do that I always do on my mug. I always draw on a mold. I have a, a very distinct mold that shows through my makeup. And so I always beautify it. <laughs> and it's something I've done from the very beginning of time. It's my thing, that's what I do, honey. So now I'm gonna use this black and just go in with my crease. And I want a cat eye. So I'm gonna pull that mug back like old school Miss You or something. Hey drag honey. I don't want it to go all the way back. I only want to do a little bit when you go into your crease because you don't want to turn all that green, that beautiful green we just did, that dark green, you don't want it to turn it black. You want it to blend into it. Take that dark green again, this brush, and I'm just going to blend. I'm going to use this this again, and I'm going to just go down the bridge of my nose. 
highlight my nose. My favorite part of makeup is putting on blush. And that's what we're doing now. We're adding a little blush. Cause it just gives the face life. Now I'm gonna use Bat Me Cosmetics so Snatcher Black, honey. It's a black, and I'm gonna do all the augmentations that I'm going to do with my makeup to give me that true tiger look, honey. And I love this so much because it goes on liquid, but it dries matte, and those are my favorite, favorite, favorite lipsticks. So I'm gonna take it, this, this is mine, and I ain't using it on nobody else because I'm being selfish. So I'm gonna use it very sparingly. So watch the way I use it. And you know every cat got them dots on the top of their lips. So now we're gonna put on them dots, honey. Three on each side. I'm gonna get my setting spray out. I use a real cheap one. I don't tell you, I'm cheap. So make sure you remember that, honey. That's why I be getting my coupon codes. And I'm gonna use Bat Me's Heaven highlighter. And I'm gonna hit this face one time on this side. Maybe two. You don't wanna come out today? Maybe three. There you go. Come on. Hit it one time. Get that highlighter a fan brush and I'm just gonna hit right there and I give you that highlighter one more thing oh. looks are not complete until you put on lashes and if you don't wear lashes Shame on you. <laughs> this is the Bat Me gift box for the Velvet Lashes. And these are the big lashes that most of the queens wear. So like, and most of the major bars in the United States. But I love this so much. And if you would have watched HJ and the Queen last night, one of the gifts that was given to the lady that, for her anniversary, because he forgot to get her a gift, and RuPaul had gave her a gift, was lashes. This would be the perfect gift, just like our AJ and the Queen episode one. And it's because it has already has, you know, the mirror in it, it has the uh, applicator in it, and it has these beautiful lashes. And I love so much about these lashes because they are kind of big and fanned out. So you know what, we put a lot, I put a lot of work in this eye makeup. And even with these lashes, you're gonna see it because they're not too big and they're not too bulky. So I love these lashes, love, love, love.
Well, this is the final look. Now that you see why I got all the stripes and everything to go with the costume, put a little yellow in just because the costume did. You know, just tying everything in, making it all beautiful. I love this luscious hair. Gray is in, baby. Gray is in, and it's, I look good in a bob, don't I? Don't I look good in this bob? I just love it, everything about it. For more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, baby. Be the first to see what's coming out. And if you want to see more of Silky Nutmeg Ganache, hit me up on Instagram, where my handle is at Silky Ganache, S-I-L-K-Y-G-A-N-A-C-H-E. If you love these products just as much as I do, make sure you use Silky G, the promo code, to get you some discounts, baby. I love a discount, and it ain't even Black Friday. Bye, y'all! Silky G out!